I'm with a lady called Zoe Fielding, and Zoe is about to participate in a very exciting challenge. Zoe, can you tell me what this challenge is, please? Um, I'm about to swim from Dover to Calais, crossing the English Channel um, in a relay team. A relay team of how many? Five people, all girl team. All girl team? It is an all girl team. And, and where, where are they from, Zoe? Um, they're all from the Lincolnshire Army Cadet Force, and we've got one cadet swimming with us as well. Okay, and what sort of ages are you? Um, we're ranging from 17 right the way through to about 40 something. I won't give away their ages. <laughs> And what sort of support crew do you have with you, Zoe? Um, we've got our TSA, who's the Training Safety Advisor. We've got lots of our HQ people from Lincolnshire Army Cadet Force. Um, they've been supporting us through the whole process and then right the way through to the moment we land at France. OK, so when do you uh, attempt this, this marvellous fate that you're about to, to undergo? Well, we're going on Monday. We weren't due to go for another four weeks, but our window's been brought forward and uh, we go down on Sunday ready to swim on Monday. Okay, and what sort of time do you start and what, what sort of time do you estimate that you'll finish? We're looking at about a 3am start, so we're starting in the dark, um, and we're hoping it's going to take us about 16 hours. Um, and then obviously the boat will bring us back to England and we'll have a well-earned rest. Okay, now it's 22 miles across the channel as the crow flies. How far do you expect to actually swim? Because of, you've got the tide and, and one of uh, two other factors, haven't you? That's right. With the tide and wind, um, it could pull us over quite a large course. I know that people have gone down there before now and swam up to 63 miles. So it could be quite. It could be a substantial amount more than 22 miles. But we're hoping it's not going to be too much more than that. How does the actual relay work then, Zoe? How, how long do you actually swim before somebody else takes over? We go in for an hour at a time um, and then we do a crossover. We're allowed two minutes to, to switch over and then the next person swims for an hour and it just continues like that until you land in France. OK, so um, in, a, in an hour, how far can you swim in an hour then, Zoe? That depends on what the water's like. I can comfortably swim about two miles normally. Um, so probably not as much as that in the sea. It depends on what the tides are like, really. OK. Now, how long have you actually been swimming then, Zoe? Um, I've always been able to do breaststroke, um, but I haven't actually been swimming front crawl for very long. I actually started at the back end of um, October last year, um, and I've literally had to learn how to swim to, to get myself across the channel. What does the training involve that you've had to do to, uh, to, to build your strength up for, for this sort of challenge? Um, gym work, lots and lots of swimming, swimming up to sort of seven miles a week in the pool. In the very beginning, it was more about technique than it was uh, mileage. But once the technique was mastered, I'd say sort of January, February time, it then became about the miles and just banging out as many miles as I could really in the in the swimming pool and then in the lakes. Okay, excellent. Zoe, can you tell me, what, what is the charity that you're, you're doing this challenge for? I'm swimming for Grantham Additional Needs Federation, which is a combination of Grantham um, Ambergate Sports College and Grantham Sandon School. And they're two schools for children with special educational needs. OK, and what in particular are they, do they need the money for? We're looking at uh, raising funds for a new indoor gym. Um, we're looking at some real specialist equipment for some of our more um, less mobile students. Um, so yeah, we're looking at real specialist equipment to help build up that muscle for them. Okay. Do you have a goal on how much you're hoping to raise? I'd like to raise a thousand. Um, in total, the actual gym's going to cost about eighteen thousand for the equipment, and I'm looking to raise about a thousand of that. Okay. I also um, understand that you took part in the swim marathon as well this year. I did. Yeah, I did that twice. I did it once with the Army Cadet Force, and then I did it again with. Um, the um, Grantham Additional Needs Federation. Okay, excellent. Now, with regard in the, the charity that you're swimming for, do you have a website or somewhere where, if somebody would like to uh, sponsor you, uh, how, how could they go about doing that? Yeah, there's two ways you can sponsor me. Um, if you want to go online, you can go on to BT My Donate Zoe Fielding. Um, and you can donate on the internet. If you prefer to do a cash donation, you can drop in cash donations at both Ambergate and Sandon School within Grantham. OK, now, now Zoe, how do you actually feel just a few days away from, from having to go at this challenge? Uh, butterflies, how do you feel? 
scared. Um, I'm actually scared of the sea, so to, to be doing this is quite a big challenge for me. Um, I've done some sea swimming, I've spent a few weekends down in Dover. Knowing that it's actually happening though in just a few days' time is quite scary, but at the same time it's really exciting. It's what I've worked for, what the rest of the team have worked for for the last Lord knows how many months. So yeah, we've, we're ready for it now. Now this challenge, Zoe, it's not as straightforward as what it might first seem. That's right, there's lots of little bits and pieces that are added in there. We have an observer on the boat. Um, when we change over on the relay and swap over swimmers, you have to do it all within two minutes. You're not allowed to touch each other during that time and neither are you allowed to touch the boat. If any of that happens, it becomes nil and void and the whole thing is called off. It's not a ratified swim. Um, and also, if one of the team members became ill during the cross cross channel or if you know they pulled a muscle or whatever and had to drop out then again that's it it's all finished done dusted and it's nil and void and non-ratified well, so you're very much it's very much a team event then absolutely yeah we're all relying on each other and motivating each other just to get ourselves through no matter what we want to get across to the other side well, there's not going to be many people that, that can say swam across the channel now, is there? No, I don't think so. I don't know anybody personally that's yeah. done it, so I'm, re I'm really looking forward to it. OK, Zoe, now I'd like to ask you, uh, would you kindly come back and uh, be a guest on my show and tell me how you got on after the event? I would love to do that. It would be an absolute pleasure. Wonderful. So I wish you all the very best, and I'm sure all the listeners of Gravity at home will wish you all the very best with this challenge. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Thanks. Cheers, Zoe. Thank you. Local radio for local people. It's all here for you. Traffic and travel. What's on guide. Great songs and great memories on Gravity FM. Your community, your radio. 97.2. Gravity. Gravity.